This is a quick guide on using the DDSM-1 for calibrating adjustable pressure switches. To further understand how to use the DDSM-1 to calibrate adjustable pressure switches, please watch Calibrating an Adjustable Pressure Switch with the DDSM-1 Draft Simulator. Hi, right, today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily calibrate an adjustable pressure switch. Now, connect your hoses to the top of the DDSM-1. Connect one to the P1 connection on your SDMN5. Take the other one, connect it to the negative side of the pressure switch that you're going to be calibrating. You take your leads, plug it into the front of the DDSM-1, and plug one into common, and plug one into the normally open, that's NO, so normally open, okay? What we're gonna do is go ahead and you um, select the spring that you wanna use in this. In this case, we use the natural spring. It goes from 0 0.03 to, uh, I mean, it's 0 0.30 to, um, 0.90 so uh, I went ahead and put that in and you can go ahead and give it a couple of turns uh, to get started. Turn your DDSM1 on and uh, go ahead and um, set your pressure to whatever pressures that you want to set it at. Right now today what we've done is we've set it at uh, 0.70 you can see it bounces a little bit between 0 0.69 and 0 0.70 that's okay. Well we set this at 0 0.70 and all you're going to do is once you get that in there we're going to go ahead and make our adjustments to the adjustment screw, we're going to screw it in just a little bit, or some. in some cases it goes quite a ways, and the light went off, we have a 0 0.70 inches of water column pressure switch, it's that simple. With the DDSM-1, you can easily calibrate any adjustable pressure switch accurately and with complete confidence. Set it and leave it. No need to make unnecessary trips to the shop or warehouse. Reduce your inventory and always have the right pressure switch, especially in the middle of the night. Please watch our other videos from Philpiece Instruments. Thank you for watching.